Hello friends and welcome to a lecture on Python. Today we will learn how to open a CSV file in NumPy array. Now most of the data that comes out of various machines and uh, you know uh, we have lab equipments and we have other type of equipments which are hooked up to the computer. Now most of the time data or the non-time data that comes out uh, we can store it at a, as a CSV file. Now, opening such files and uh, reading them, we can process the data that is available in those files further in Python. And we can get some meaningful results. So this is a very important skill for all engineers and scientists that how do we open .csv files in Python. Now, I have created a .csv file here. The .csv file can be viewed using Excel. And if you use LibreOffice, then you can use LibreCalc to open it. Now already, as you can see that there is a five by five array of numbers here. Now I have to get these numbers in Python and process them. So how do I do it? Well, that's pretty straightforward. First you import NumPy. And then let me call a new file or a new variable data and expt experimental data. And then afterwards I write np dot load load txt. And then we write the path of the file, which is d data. Well, as you can see here, it is in the folder D data and example, the file name is example underscore CSV dot CSV. Yes, do not forget to write the extension. And then after that, this is followed by a comma and then we write D L I M I T E R is equal to double quotes and comma. Well, this particular command that is delimiter comma is very important. Otherwise, the data will not be read properly because this delimiter ensures a separation between the rows and the columns. Now afterwards, let's print this to see the result. So we call it data expt. Let's execute this command. And uh, as we can see here, we have not defined it completely. Import NumPy as NP. NP, we need to do that. And then let's run this. And here you can see that the entire numbers have been read. And the numbers have been read in floating point decimals. Now, when we process this data, we should be able to put it back into a .csv file also so that later on we can open it in Excel and do some further processing because Excel is still a very good go-to software when it comes to taking data, small amounts of data and drawing a graph on it and doing a little bit of processing and dressing and you know there are pivot tables and a lot of uh, visual elements in Excel which help in understanding of data. So for this, what we will do is we will take it as data visual. So this is the data which is required for visualization. It is nothing but data expt star two. That is all the elements in this array which I have got. I'm just multiplying it with two. And then afterwards, print just to see whatever is done is right. Let's print and see the output. Yes, indeed, all the elements have been multiplied by two. Now, how do we store this new array that we have created that is data visual as a CSV file? For that, it's simple. We write np dot save the XT. And then we write the 
path and the file name in which you want to store it. So it's again going to be D data. Then we give it a separate name. So we are going to give it at data V I S U A L dot C S V. And then we write This is the most important part of the code. We have to mention a delimiter, otherwise it will be not stored as rows and columns or separate cells. Each member or each element of this array will not be stored as a separate element in every cell of Excel. So now we go ahead and execute this. So we did not write the file name here. So we have to write the file name here, data, V I S U A L visual. That's it. Now it's executed. So let's go back and have a look at what is stored. So as we can see here, we have got data visual here. Now let's double click and open it in Excel. And there, as you can see, we have got a new file in which the old array multiplied by two is available to us. Now this data can be used for further processing the way you want it. So this was a very short tutorial on how do we use Excel to open, uh, sorry, how do we use Python to open Excel files and to save data as Excel files. Remember by Excel files, what I mean is .csv files. Now .csv is comma separated value dot comma separated value now dot comma separated value files can be uh, opened in Excel simply and it can be stored as dot xls that is in the native excel format and it can be further processed so that was all have a great day and uh, keep watching there will be more such interesting videos which will really help you in your analysis. So goodbye.